How's it going guys, Zach Cox here, and in today's GTA Retro video, we're going to be trying to answer the age-old question of why there are no flyable and accessible airplanes within GTA 4. So, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below. That would be very much appreciated, as well as don't forget to subscribe if you do go on to enjoy my daily Grand Theft Auto 5 uploads. As well as if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, those links are down below in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So, this actually dates back pre-GTA 4 and before the initial release in 2008. And we knew going into GTA 4 that there was actually going to be no flyable airplanes in that game. And we didn't really have an explanation as to why, an official explanation. And we still really don't, but we do have some insight and some... Uh, views on this whole concept from the president of Rockstar Games, Dan Hauser. So I'll get to that in just a moment, but I want to talk about some of the rumors first off. The main one, of course, is due to the setting of GTA 4 being a almost accurate depiction of real life New York City. A lot of people say that due to the September 11th, 2001 attacks on the World Trade Center that that's the reason the airplanes are disabled within GTA 4 and that's pretty much the main rumor and kind of reasoning behind why there's no airplanes in Grand Theft Auto 4. However, that's actually not the case as to why we are not able to get inside of an airplane in Grand Theft Auto 4 and fly around the city. So that is a very plausible explanation, but fun little fact, Rockstar actually removed a six block radius around where Ground Zero was and where the World Trade Center stood from Grand Theft Auto 4. So that actual location is not inside of the game and it's been replaced and those six blocks have actually been taken out of the game. So it's kind of impossible to reenact a 9-11 a event within GTA 4 with one without the actual World Trade Center uh, buildings being there but also there's just tons of buildings inside of GTA 4 and GTA 5 and just every other Grand Theft Auto game and video game out there to say the least and anytime someone flies an airplane into a building someone's gonna say oh that's referencing 9-11 it may not be the case however that's just what it's always gonna be like now for the actual reasoning why there or as to why there's no airplanes and flyable airplanes inside of GTA 4 Dan Hauser, the president of Rockstar Games, one of the two uh, presidents, actually has come out and said a few years ago in an interview, it's due to actually the small scale size of Liberty City in game. And fun little fact number two, before GTA 4 was released, the map actually expanded out into the countryside. There were actual mountains in the game of New York and different things like that, but that was just removed from the game. The consoles at the time just didn't have the capability to support different things like that, so those were removed. But in GTA 4, the, the, the scale of Liberty City is not the biggest out there. It's actually relatively small, say, compared to GTA 5, San Andreas, and many other games, or GTA games out there. So it really just wouldn't make sense to have airplanes in that game to be flyable and be able to fly around the city, because even in a helicopter... You can get from one end to the, of the city to the other within, say, 30 seconds. So it would be just kind of, uh, it would just ruin the whole point, I guess, of airplanes to have it in, in the game, especially due to the size of the city, as well as it really couldn't fit into the storyline at all. The only time we actually get inside of an airplane in GTA 4 is at the end of the Ballad of Gay Tony, where Luis Lopez actually gets inside of an airplane, it blows up, lands in the water, and he jumps out, and the game ends. So, that's the closest thing to airplanes in GTA 4 that we have, but also, the textures in that game also play a very prominent role in why we also don't see airplanes inside of GTA 4, accessible airplanes, because even in when you're in a car or a motorcycle or any sort of moving vehicle, once you reach a certain speed, you're going to be going through the map so fast that textures aren't going to load and that also leads to a big issue. It would just, imagine being in an airplane and being able to go from one end of the map to the other within 10 seconds. The textures in that game wouldn't have time to load and the game would just essentially crash and it would make the game very laggy, very slow and take away from a lot of, or take away just that fun aspect just due to the fact that nothing would be loading. The graphics would just suck. They would definitely have to be toned down a little bit opposed to what they are now if the game even did have airplanes in them. So that's the reason why we don't see airplanes or flyable or accessible airplanes inside of GTA 4. We all know that jet fuel can't melt steel beams so that's 9-11 isn't the reason why that 
uh, airplanes are actually disabled in GTA 4. We've got this vast airport inside the game, and we only have one airport, unlike GTA 5, say, where there's multiple airports throughout the city or just landing strips and different uh, places like that. There's also just one main airport, and there's nowhere else to really go or land if we had an airplane or accessible airplanes inside of GTA 5. So that about wraps up the video. If you guys did enjoy, definitely be sure to leave a like rating down below. Subscribe for some more daily Grand Theft Auto content on my channel, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are down below, but with all that said now the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will see you all in the next video.